Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. A yeah, big mistake, man. Oh! Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh... I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well... He was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Could a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. I'm going to try to fire it right now. Right on top of Barry. Barry? Barry? <laughs> 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 
You're alive! Uh, 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 I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Alrighty, that's the end of that. What happened to Wesker? Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. I have this. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys something that I learned of recently. If you go back here after the triggering system has been activated, you get to see Wesker again. Oh god. Dang, look at all that blood. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, let's go ahead and free quit. Free Chris now. to Wesker. Let's talk about it later. Let's get out of here. So yeah, since we didn't see Chris prior, that scene was a little different. This stupid scene doesn't change, though. Let's go. Let's go. Quit rushing me, Chris. Hurry. <laughs> All right, we're all reunited. Christmas block and berry. <laughs> they're all, they're both just shrugging. There is three minutes until explosion. Oh no, you must be kidding. After you've come all the way here. He's first! Go first, Joe! But Chris! Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. And Bear is all ready to go. How many shots do you think he fired out of his magnum at this point? Thank <laughs> you. 
Chris, who's all battered up, because they were too lazy to film a scene with Jill. and final playthrough because that's when I'm gonna show the credits. But anyway, as you can see my time is just <laughs> ridiculous because yeah, since I died, I went through the whole first half of the game again as fast as I possibly could with the infinite rocket launcher. That is why it's super fast. And that one save is because I had to cut the recording process in the middle of it and had to continue later on. Alrighty then. And even though we already had it unlocked, we unlocked the rocket launcher once again. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. Resident Evil. Because when you beat a range mode and do the best ending, you unlock another item. Besides the infinite rocket launcher. So I'm just going to skip ahead to where I could show you the inventory screen. Alright, so check it out. The award for completing a ranged mode with the best ending, you get an infinite Colt Python. <laughs> How am I so good at that? <laughs> Alright. Well, there you go. I'm just gonna kill myself real quick so I can get back to the menu. Ah! All it takes is six bites. That's crazy. Alright, well, that was the best ending. That was the fourth and final playthrough of Jill's scenario. So, I hope you enjoyed all those playthroughs. And next playthrough, the fifth playthrough, we will be starting Chris's scenario. We will revert back to original mode in that case, but most of the order of events will be the same, but being a new character and all, uh, all the cutscenes will be dramatically different. So it will pretty much be a brand new game in the next playthrough. So look forward to that. All right, this is Shankster94, a.k.a. The Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time And game number five, Chris Redfield, Worst Ending. All right, peace out.